So as most of you probably know, your iPhone, which is a beautiful device, has a battery health or has a battery inside of it. And the battery health is one of those things I see a lot of people talking about. And I will tell you, there's two things and two ways to kind of think about this. So if we make our way over to our iPhone settings, we go inside of our battery options right here. If you go inside of battery health, which is right here, you'll see this type of panel. I'm still at 100% very happy about it. But the thing is to keep in mind is that there's a few things that you can do to first, you know, fix your battery health if you're trying to get back to 100% and two, to relieve your battery health in order to actually make sure that it doesn't go down at a, like a crazy high rate. Now, the first things first, if you're trying to go through and like reverse your battery health, let's say you're at 95% and you want to get back to 100, the, the likelihood of that happening naturally is just not going to happen. Once it's gone, it's gone. But the only way to fix your battery health in terms of it going back to 100% is to get a battery replacement. So you will have to go through and either replace it yourself, which I wouldn't recommend doing, or sending your iPhone into Apple and having them replace your battery. The, advan the advantages, there's a few advantages of this. One, you'll get back to 100% battery health. Your battery life would be better, so you can get much better battery life. Also, your performance could get a little bit better here and there, depending on you know, if your battery health is you know, very, very severe then you can go and get a replace and that will help it a little bit. On top of that, if you're always on low power mode, your battery health, if it's back to 100%, you may not have to go in low power mode all the time and that can help fix the performance a little bit a little bit as well. On top of that though, let's say you do that and let's say your problem isn't necessarily with the battery health, but you wanna stop your battery health from going down at a crazy high rate. One of the best things you can do is to enable some of the battery features that Apple has given you, or given you inside of your iPhone. So make your way back into your iPhone settings scroll down into battery, which is right here. You then wanna go into battery health, or you know, actually let's go to charging optimization. And you wanna go and enable a few things. You wanna go and either have optimized battery charging on or 80% limit. Now 80% limit, you don't really need, but I would probably recommend just going through and enabling your optimized battery charging. What this is going to do is it's going to, you know, basically fast charge your phone up to 80%, and then it's gonna trickle charge up to 100% after 80. So this is another thing you can do to end up fixing that battery health. If your battery health is degrading like crazy, enabling this can actually end up kind of, you know, fixing your battery health in order to make it, you know, go down less. On top of that, if you do that, another thing you can do is to just go ahead and keep an eye on the battery health. And you want to see if you're wirelessly charging your particular iPhone. Sometimes overheating your iPhone or cooling down your iPhone, like in a very hot and like cold environment, can end up having some very bad, you know, issues with your particular iPhone as well. So you may just want to make sure that isn't a problem and you may just want to make sure you're not overheating your iPhone and you're not putting your iPhone in really cold environments either. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.